You aren't writing a scholarship essay for a grade. You're writing it to get money for college. So your story needs to be unique, creative, and insightful that the scholarship judges will absolutely love. And here's how you do that. My name is Amber and I help ambitious millennials reach their goals. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the elements of a good scholarship essay. So a little bit about me, I got over $50,000 in college scholarships for my four years of college, so I've written a lot of different types of essays. And this is one part of my scholarship series where you know I just talk about how to get college scholarships. So you should consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more information. So the first thing you need to do is pre-plan. Figure out all the scholarships you'll be applying for and figure out if there's a common similarity between the essay prompts. By doing this, you'll be able to write just one or two essays, which will save you so much time. And during the pre-planning stage, you also need to figure out all the deadlines for the scholarships so you don't miss out on the free money. Then you're going to craft your story. Write down a few things. What motivates you? What drives you? What excites you? The scholarship judges want to get to know the real you. Do not put anything that they can find out from your transcript or your resume on there. They know you're a good student. They know your test scores. They know your extracurricular activities. So tell them something unique about you. Once you brainstorm and you figure out what you want to write about, you don't have to tell it in a traditional way. So I know I'm a little different when I say this, but like, I don't think you need like an exposition and a conflict and a climax and a resolution. I think you need to start with a hook. So the hook is going to be two or three sentences that really draws the judges in. So I, I've written two that I can really think that had like a really strong hook. The first one I said, um, my classmates make fun of me because I wear face paint. You see... On the weekends, I work as a clown and as a party host to pay for my college applications and for graduation and for prom. And then I went into, you know, the details of my job. And I said, you know, I can't text my friends because I have these big gloves on my hands and parents are always running away from me. And I have to wear these big floppy shoes and this hot outfit. But then, so I like had a lot of detail, so that's like the body. And then I said, you know, but I've learned so much by being a clown. I've learned how to work with different types of people. And I've learned all the, and I talked about all the skills I learned as a clown and how that will actually like help me in college. And I knew it was like, it was a really unique story. And it's like different, like just my after school job. But it really like drew people in, like that hook, you know? Why do you wear face paint? Why do I do this? In the body of your essay, you need to explain why you're even telling the story in the first place. Why is the story important? What did you learn from it? How did you grow as a person? And then you need to explain, like towards the end, why receiving the scholarship will advance you. So I said, you know, through my experiences as a military brat and getting to know different cultures, I discovered my love of history. And by receiving the scholarship, I could advance my studies and teach other people about different cultures because I'll have this historical background. Say you really can't come up with a unique story to tell about yourself. Write about something that you find really interesting. Like, say you love Cardi B. Write about Cardi B. Now, I'm not saying write a biography on Cardi B. I'm saying write about how Cardi B has influenced you. Say like, you know, I've seen Cardi B's work ethic these past two years and she's inspired me to get a 4.0, to stay in school, to become a valedictorian, whatever it may be. What if you love cars or you love video games? Talk about that, but you know, say how it'll help you in your college endeavors. You know, the sky's the limit. You, it, this is the time to be so unique and there really are no rules in your scholarship essay. So when you're done writing your essay, you're not actually done. You really should have someone else read it. And I suggest having someone who doesn't know the story read it. A lot of times students will go to their parents to read their essay, but the problem with doing that is that their perspective can influence the next draft of that story. You want an outsider's perspective. So I would ask like a teacher 
or a neighbor or a friend and ask them like, hey, does this story make sense to you? Is it interesting to you? And then after that, you need to heavily proofread it. And this comes in three steps. First, you're gonna read it just the way you would regularly proofread it. And then you're gonna read it out loud. By doing this, sometimes you realize that things don't make sense or that you forgot a word here or there. And then the third thing you're gonna do is run it through a program. I really like Grammarly and it's completely free. There's also a paid version, do the free one. And I'll just run it through. Like there's so many different types of um, software programs out there and they'll catch like, okay, maybe you need to add a comma or semicolon here. So those are my tips on how to write a winning scholarship essay. Be sure to download my scholarship checklist. Um, the link will be in the description box and share this video with whoever you think may find this helpful. And be sure to comment below if you have any scholarship related questions. I'll be sure to make a video or answer them for you. And again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content and have a wonderful, wonderful day.